Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on this tutorial. So today I'll be testing the game website, okay? And uh, the test case scenario is to click on one of these links and after it opens, I select an item and I add it to the shipping cart, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is to create my program using JUnit. Let me create my test case and I'm gonna name it game to to basket all right and i'm gonna click finish it's gonna load okay it's still building let's wait for it okay great so i've already explained what each of this process uh does all right so i'm not gonna go into that today you can just uh, check my previous tutorial the first thing that i want to do is initialize my web driver so I'm just going to copy the setup from the previous tutorial and I'm just going to paste it here to save time, okay? I'm also going to copy the variables and I'm going to add them here as well in case I need to use them. I don't need this. I'm going to remove it. So I'm testing my add to, to basket. All right. Okay, so the first thing that I need before anything else is to load my landing page. Okay, so let's just, uh, because for me to access anything on this website, any products, I need the landing page first. Okay, need to make sure that it loads. So let me just say driver.get, let me add my string, okay, and I'm going to say driver. Get element okay. Let me just say I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use the get by URL like I did on the previous tutorial, but I'm gonna use the link text. Okay. So remember from the last tutorial I just copied the URL. So now I'm gonna use the text. So once it finds the text, it'll know that you know there's a link attached to it and it has to click on that link so i'm just gonna copy this um, essentials and i'm gonna paste it here and after it identifies the link i want it to click on it all right so before it uh, loads the page i want it to to wait okay i want it to wait let me just use my web driver you just say static. Do I have it? Oh, I do have it. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Okay, there's no need for me to actually write this code because we have it from here. So I'm just gonna copy it from here and I'm gonna paste it here and I'm going to identify a few elements. Okay, so once it loads. Uh, the essentials uh, page I wanted to to verify that uh, all the images are loaded or all the products are loaded okay and I also wanted to verify that it has loaded the correct title all right so I'm just gonna copy this class and I'm going to paste that here and another thing that I need is the page title. Okay, um, okay, view page info. I'm gonna copy this. Copy, and I'm going to replace the eBay title that we used last time. All right. Okay, so another thing that I wanted to do, let me just go back to the page, is that we would notice that when we uh, land on this page, it doesn't show us the add to basket, right? We have to scroll first. So for my program to be able to test uh, this shopping cart or this button, it has to see it, okay? So I need to add another code for, for the scrolling. So I'm just gonna use the JavaScript executor. I'm gonna say JavaScript E. I'm gonna use this GSE 
equals to no. All right. So I'm gonna use it here. And I'm gonna say GSC. I'm gonna paste it to my web driver. And just copy this. Paste it here. And add my driver. And I'm gonna GSC dot execute script. All right, and I'm gonna add my my scroller here. So I'm gonna say window dot scroll by, and I'm gonna add my x and y axis. All right, so I'm not scrolling using the x axis, but I'm using the y's. So I'm just gonna close that. Okay. So after I've scrolled, I want to click on a button. All right, I want to, get, uh, to click here. I'm just gonna inspect element for this. Because I need to identify which locator I'm going to use. So I need to know if they used an ID or a class. Okay, let me see. So I'm gonna use this class. Okay, so I'm gonna say driver dot find element by I'm gonna say by X path. Okay. It's not what I'm looking for. Dot find. Okay. Let's just wait a second. There we go. By X path. Okay. Then I'm going to add my class here. Just gonna say add class equals to I'm gonna paste that here and I'm going to add my brackets here all right then I want to click on this button just gonna say to click then once I've clicked on it let's see what it does so let me just close this and just refresh Okay, let me click on this button. Okay, so it opens this uh, pop up. Okay, so I'm just gonna inspect this pop up. So it wants you to kind of like confirm that you are actually checking out because usually once you click check out, it just takes you directly to the shopping cart. But I guess yeah, they want you to confirm. So I'm gonna take this button for the checkout, and I'm gonna say driver dot find element by x path. There we go, and I'm gonna add my class. Add class equals to that and I add my bracket here and I also want to click on this all right so in between this event I want to okay let me just say the click In between these events, I want to add the thread for sleep. Just to, I want my browser to wait a few more minutes before I can action the next event. Okay, so I just want you to sleep for two seconds. Let me just add my declaration and okay. So I'm just gonna quickly run it. The G unit application. Okay. So the first thing that I wanted to do is to open my home page, then click on the essentials uh, link. Once it opens that page, I wanted to verify that there are items on that page or products, and I wanted to also verify that it has loaded the correct title. Okay. 
and then I would need it to scroll uh, vertically using the, the y-axis and after it scrolls it should now click on the on the add to basket uh, button once it clicks on that a pop-up will open and I want it to click on that uh, other button that's inside then I want it to open my shopping cart and actually add the item uh, the so yeah so it's currently running my command mm, I've previously explained that my computer is a bit slow so I uh, can always forward this video so that yeah you can see how it uh, executes the code okay here we go uh, okay it's still initializing so usually this programs run quick okay thing here is with my, my computer it's just a bit slow but uh, if you all can be a bit patient. Okay, so here we go. It's gonna add the URL. Okay, I really like the game website, hey? Uh, the programmers that worked on it are very good. Very good. I saw a few errors, but it's just a few, like two, like one, you know, compared to other websites. I've been on this other website and I tried to add an item to a shipping cart and I couldn't find the actual button. I was like, what is going on? You know, so... I really like the, the game website. So now it's gonna scroll. It's gonna scroll. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. And it's gonna click on that uh, button. And it's gonna It's gonna click on check out. And it's going to open the the cart. Okay, so I've added an item to the shopping cart. So my next tutorial will be on test ng. And uh, what else can I show you? Let me go back to my IDE. So there's no need for you to to open your browser and see how the tests execute right you can always use this window to tell you what passed what failed and yeah what you need to work on so yeah the green means that it has passed everything it verified the title it verified that all images loaded on the page all items loaded it verified uh the adding to card functionality so all this has passed uh thank you for watching my videos please subscribe and don't forget to like uh, and check out my next tutorial. Thank you so much.